Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the Moment 5 feature update that Microsoft began rolling out last week, as I mentioned in that video, they also started introducing some new Windows 365 boot and switch features alongside the Moment 5 feature update. And this applies to the cloud PC side of things. And I did mention I would keep you guys posted if you would be interested. So just a quick video to summarize some of these new improvements and changes now for the new Windows 365 boot and switch features that rolled out with Moment 5. And I'll leave the original blog post of Microsoft down below as well if you would be interested, if you'd like some more info. Now, just a quick overview. Um, first of all, Microsoft says that they have rolled out new personalization options for Windows 365 boot shared mode where you can now use Intune to customize the login page, as we can see, to feature your organization's name and brand. So yeah, we're, what we're looking at is a company's logo and branding with the equivalent wallpaper to customize the login page. And then moving on to the next, there's also improvements for fail fast mechanism for Windows 365 boot, according to the blog post, where Microsoft says, if you have ever waited for the sign-in process on a cloud PC to complete, and then only to find out that Windows 365 boot failed due to network issues or an incomplete setup. And to combat this now, they have started rolling out new smart logic, which can now, they say, proactively inform you to resolve network issues or complete app setup so you can experience a smooth login to your cloud PC. And what we are looking at here is an example of that. And I do apologize if these have screen grabs are a little bit gritty. And then moving on to the next uh, is, this is just a screenshot that we are looking at, looking at of notification on the Windows login screen when there are network issues trying to connect. So those are two changes to the, what Microsoft is saying, the fail fast mechanism for Windows 365 boot. And moving on to the next one, you can also now manage local your local PC settings through the Windows 365 boot as well, where with this feature, Microsoft says it's now easier for you to access and manage sound, display, and other device settings for your local PC directly from your cloud PC in Windows 365 boot. And what we're looking at here is a screenshot of a red box, obviously, highlighting the open local PC settings option while in Windows 365 boot. So a lot of integration here between your local PC and the cloud PC that's rolled out now with a Moment 5. And then the last one, Sorry, the second last one just to mention for the purpose of this video is there's also now improved disconnect experience for Windows 365 Switch where Microsoft says you can now disconnect from your cloud PC directly um, from the local PC. And to do this, um, you basically have to head to your local PC task view and then click on the cloud PC button and select disconnect. And they've also added tooltips that show on disconnect and sign out options in the cloud PC start menu so that you can easily differentiate this capability from other options. And what we're looking at here is a screenshot of the di disconnect experience for a cloud PC as shown in the task view. And then the last one, just to summarize quickly for the purpose of this video is you'll also now see the term cloud PC at the bottom here of your screen, just above the task view button um, outlined by the red um, rectangle. You will now see the term cloud PC and local PC on the desktop indicator when you switch between your respective PCs. So a couple of improvements that Microsoft has rolled out pertaining to the cloud PC um, alongside the Moment 5 feature update. And according to Microsoft, um, this is a controlled feature release alongside Moment 5. And that means that the features outlined here, as we mentioned today, will basically be rolling out by the end and be completed by the end of March 2024. So if you are in an organization and are using a cloud PC, and if you're not seeing some of these changes we've had a look at today, those should be available by the end of March. And as mentioned, both the Moment 5 feature update and the blog post will be down below. Um, the links to those videos will be down below if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.